what I found, guys. This book looks so different. That's right, Joe. What is it about? I can't make out from the cover. Uh, let me open it and see. Whoa! Ah! Hold on! Help! Where are we? What happened? I don't know. But looks like we got sucked into the book. The book? Where is it? It fell from my hand when we landed here. Oh, I think we should look for it quickly. Let's ask around. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for a particular book. Would it have got mixed with yours? I don't think so, but do have a look. Thank you. Okay, sons. Now it's time for you to go and make your own house. Your mother and I will come and stay with each one of you when your houses are ready. Good luck, my children. Goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Papa. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I am going to make my house so quickly that Mama and Papa will be able to come and stay with me first. And they will like it so much that they won't leave at all. That's not possible. I will make a house even faster than you. We will see. But for now, this is my spot. I will make my house here. You go ahead, brothers. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye, brother. It is very nice, brother. Thank you. Is your house ready? I need two more days to complete it. How about yours? I will need a week more. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do you need a week more? I am making my house with brick and stones, brothers. And I think you too should do that. <laughs> Little brother, you have gone mad. Why do we need a house of brick and stone? Look at us. Elder brother has made it of hay, and I have made it of sticks. That is good enough. Anyway, I will come to both your houses when they are ready. Little pigs have left Papa Pig's house and made their own houses. Who will protect them there? Now I can go eat them. Come out, come out, little pig, or I will huff and puff and blow your house down. Mm. 
looks like he escaped. Well, I know where his brothers live. I am sure he has gone there. Come out, come out, little pigs, or I will huff and puff and blow your house down. Hmm. Looks like they escaped. I am sure they have gone to the third brother's house. Come out! Come out, little pigs! Or I will huff and puff and blow your house down! Children, are you all right? We went to the hay house to stay and saw it broken. We got worried and went to the sticks house and saw it broken too. We were so worried about you. Mama, Papa, we are all right. It is little brother's hard work that has saved us today. Now we can all stay in my house together. Wow! Really, the youngest pig saved them all today. Yeah, but who will save us? How will we go back? Oh, wow! Look there, guys! It's the book! It works! We're back! Phew! I am so glad! Me too! Look at those strawberries. I could spend my entire day here. Don't worry, Joe. We are. Count me out, June. What? Why? Um, you won't believe me if I told you. Oh, enough with the suspense, Sugar. Tell us. Yes, Sugar. Where are you going now? There is a race between a tortoise and a hare. What? 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 See, exactly what I said. You won't believe me. No, no, we believe you, but it's just incredible. 
Yes, it is. How did this come to happen? Nobody knows how it started, but the hare challenged the tortoise for a race. You think you're better than me. I never said that, brother. Well, I will prove that I am better than you. I challenge you to a race. <laughs> That's not a fair race. Everyone knows you will run. Yes! Don't accept this tortoise. My friends, I don't believe in winning or losing. I only believe in hard and honest work. I am not afraid of racing the hare. Very well then. We shall meet here tomorrow to race. And you are telling us this now, Sugar? I say, let's go with Sugar to see the race. You guys go ahead. I will catch up in some time. Just as soon as I can move. Come on, Joe. How many strawberries did you really eat? Ugh, I think a bit too many. Behind the trees. Don't come out or you'll spook the animals. On your marks, get ready, go! Oh, he is never going to make it. Look at that hair go! What is thinking? Come on, let's follow the hare. But he's gone too far ahead now. Sugar, can you take us to the hare? Sure I can. Grab each other's hands. Thanks, Sugar. The hare is coming. But what is he doing? Why is he slowing down? I told that silly tortoise that he would lose the race against me. <laughs> I'm sure he is still somewhere near the starting line. <laughs> I think I will just sleep under the shade of this tree for some time. I can finish the race later. I can't believe it. How can he just sleep? He knows he will win, so he doesn't care. Shh! Let's wait and see what happens. In so long, but the hare is still sleeping. Hey, look there, the tortoise is coming. Oh wow, the tortoise just went past the hare. But the hare doesn't know it. He's still fast asleep. I don't think the hare is going to win this race anymore. Let's follow the tortoise.
We've been walking for over an hour. And no sign of the hare. And there's the finish line. under a tree. I'll go see what he's up to. He won! He won! Congratulations, Tortoise! You won the race! <laughs> Wait! Wait for me! I was winning the race! Tortoise, how did you win this race? I just kept walking honestly without thinking of how good or bad I was at racing. Before I knew it, the finish line was there. What a wonderful thing to say and do. Yes, I am so inspired by it. I am so happy we came here. Thanks, Sugar. You are welcome. Joe, shall we go back to the strawberry farm now? Oh, no way. I'm going straight home now. Joe gone? He said he'd take us somewhere special for breakfast. Shall we go see if he has eaten it all on his way back? I have been waiting for Baker Lady to open the shop, but she hasn't come yet. I was just asking around why. This is what they told me. This happened right before I came here. The Baker Woman baked bread for her family. Her husband and her son are sitting at the dining table. There is some dough left. I will bake something special for you. There. I will bake a gingerbread man for you. I will use these round candies as his eyes and give him a smile made from sugar frosting. Thank you, Mother. Please bake it quickly. I can't wait for it. as you can, but you cannot catch me. I am the gingerbread man. <laughs> oh, Joe. 
happen to only you. Why don't we all run after him? I don't mind. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Do you know which way the gingerbread man went from here? Yes, yes, I saw him and a whole family of three running after him. They took the road towards the town hall. Thank you, sir. Run, run as best as you can, but you cannot catch me. I am the gingerbread man. I am hungry working on this farm since the morning. Let's go get him. <laughs> run, run as fast as you can. But you cannot catch me. I am the gingerbread man. Ruff, ruff. Best as you can, but you cannot catch me. I am the gingerbread man. Run, run as fast as you can, but you cannot catch me. I am the gingerbread man. Red man doing? Does he really want to be eaten? Isn't he afraid somebody will really eat him? Yum. That gingerbread man looks so inviting. I must eat him. But there are already so many people behind him. We must find another way. Huh? How should I cross this river now? Why don't you hold on to my tail as I swim and cross the river? Duh. Okay! level. Why don't you jump on my back? I'm getting wet again! Oh! It must be the water level. Why don't you jump on my nose? I will keep it out of the water. Are you okay now? Yes, this is better. <laughs> oh no! Did you really want to eat the gingerbread man, Joe? <laughs> Don't worry, Sugar. I am sure we'll find Joe something else to eat. It's chain broke.
Where is it? Oh, there it goes. It is caught in the waves. Oh no, I loved that pendant. It was a gift from my mom to me. Don't worry, June. I will get it for you. I can breathe underwater too, so it's not a problem for me. Why is it taking sugar so long? I'm hungry. Sugar! Did you get it? Yes, yes! Here it is! Thank you, Sugar! Why did it take so long, Sugar? Was everything okay? Friends, I have to tell you something! What is it, Sugar? Just as I was returning with June's locket, I saw a sea palace at the bottom of the sea. I went inside the palace and later even followed one of the princesses of the palace. I will tell you what I saw. It was the palace of the Sea King. A whole kingdom exists beneath the sea. The king lives with his five daughters and his mother. But they are not ordinary people. They are all mermaids. They have fish tails instead of legs. When I reached there, the king's mother and youngest daughter, Ariel, were talking. My little princess, today is your 15th birthday. And like all your sisters before you, from today, you have the permission to go to the surface of the sea and see the world above. Oh, I have been waiting for this day for so long, Grandmother. My sisters have told me such wonderful stories about what they have seen in the world above. Yes, my little one. And you too shall see many wonderful things there. But remember, the people above are not like you. You have the sweetest voice in the world because you have the sweetest heart in the world. Not everyone in the world above has a heart like you. I will always watch you from this magic mirror when you go above, but I will not be able to send you any help. So be very careful. Yes, Grandmother, I will be careful. Wow, I have never seen such a wonderful place. Even the sun shines so bright here, unlike our gentle orange ball. Who is that? I must save him! Are you okay? Please open your eyes. I couldn't bear it if something happens to you. We have just met, but I know I love you already. I should call for help. Help! Someone help me! There! I can hear someone calling for help from there. Maybe the prince is there. Help is here! But others shouldn't see me, and so I shall have to leave you for now, my prince.
who are you, my lady? Even when I was unconscious, I could hear your loving voice. I know you have saved me, and now I ask you to marry me. Will you? Yes, I will! Very well then. Let us return to the palace and we shall be married. Foolish girl, I know what you want, and it is stupid. But I shall give it to you nevertheless. I am the Witch of the Sea, and it is my duty to answer those who come to me. I love my prince. I want to go to the other world and win his heart too. Please help me, O oh powerful Witch of the Sea. I will help you. I will turn your beautiful fish tail into human legs. So that you can live in the world above. But in return, I will take away your voice as my payment. My voice? But that is all I have. Without my voice, how will I tell the prince that I love him? I am nothing without my voice. No! You will still have your grace and beauty, princess. When your beautiful fishtail turns into human legs, they will make you the best dancer in the world. And above all, you will still have the kindness of your heart, which can win any man's love. Now go! <laughs> Get used to it, princess. Your voice will never ring aloud again. And listen! If you fail to win the heart of the prince by the sunset, you will die. Poor Ariel. Friends, I think we should go help the princess. Maybe we should go and tell the prince about her. We can try, Jack. But because the prince fell into water, he is surrounded by many soldiers and his well-wishers. We won't be able to reach him. We have to find a way. Let's go, friends. There's a big celebration going on inside. You cannot go in there. The prince is getting married. I have never seen someone dance like you before. I think we should allow her to go inside. She should be a part of the wedding celebration.
We will have to find another way into the castle. I know a way. From there, we will be able to see everything that is going on inside. But we will be very far from the prince. Take us there, sugar. You? I know you. You are the one that saved my prince on the beach that day. I saw you that day before you went into the sea. Thank you for saving his life. You must attend the wedding in the evening. It is on a big ship in the middle of the sea. All the guests are invited aboard the ship for the wedding of the royal prince. My lady, I do not know who you are, but I saw you with my princess. And I know you make her immensely happy. For that, I am grateful to you. Nothing can make me happier than my princess's happiness. Ariel! Here, eat this! This will return your voice to you. My sisters, what are you doing here? Grandmother has been watching you through her magic mirror. We know what you've done and the sacrifice you've made to win your prince's heart. When father found out how the witch had tricked you, he made her give your voice back. Now you can go sing and win your prince's love. Hurry! No, my dear sisters. I love my prince very much, and he loves his princess. She is a kind and loving person who loves the prince very much too. I can't hurt either of them by getting in their way. Don't be a fool, sister. You know you will die if you don't win the prince's heart before sunset. That can be any time now. I have made up my mind, sisters. This is my love for the prince, even if I have to die for his happiness. Ariel, we have watched you sacrifice everything you had for the person you love. You have the purest and kindest heart. Thus, from now on, you will live with us in the world of the fairies.